And we're following some breaking news in Miami after a deadly shooting at a condo building. We just learned a mother and daughter were killed in the gunfire. Local 10's Larry Livingston joins us live from the scene. I know you have some breaking details for us, and this is just tragic, right? Around the holidays as well. Just an awful situation, and here's what we do know, Christy and Janice, that two women are dead, and police do have a suspect, a man in custody. You can see right now they are actively still on this scene outside of this condo building. Sky 10, of course, was over this scene earlier this morning after the call came in around 9 this morning after those women were found shot to death in their apartment at the Yolanda Villas condos here on Northwest 47th Avenue. Now, police say those women are a mother and a daughter, sadly, one in her 50s and one in her 20s. Police say the man who shot these two women was the mother's estranged husband. Now, all of this remains under investigation, but they believe he was targeting her, shot her, shot her daughter, and then left this apartment building. But police say he then turned himself in to West Miami police and confessed to killing these two women. Here's what police had to say this morning. What we can confirm is that the suspect somehow was able to ambush both that mother and daughter and they were found deceased inside of their apartment building complex. It's always very hard to report on devastating situations like this, especially during the holiday season. So let's just keep the family in prayers at this time. Now, police do tell us that they have been able to speak with a witness to all of this, that witness's connection to these two victims, if they were a neighbor or a relative, still unknown. They say they're keeping that information confidential. And we're still, excuse me, awaiting confirmation of those victims' identities, as well as the name of that suspect who turned himself in. Detectives and crime scene investigators, again, are still on this scene. We know the medical examiner has not yet come either because those bodies remain inside of this building but we'll keep you posted on anything new we learn about this situation in the coming hours for now we are live here in miami larry livingston local 10 news